Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. We're here at the beautiful Viviano restaurant at the Valley Forge Casino Resort. We've got our chef Tony Clark with us today. Tony? Oh, how come I'm not the beautiful Tony Clark? You are the beautiful I mean, Tony Clark. The, the handsome, the very oh, handsome oh, thank Tony you. Clark. Thank you. And for then we me. have the beautiful Lauren D'Angelo. She's from Samuels much. and Son. And we're gonna be using some of your fabulous seafood today. Tell us what we're gonna make. Uh, bacala. Bacala. And it's a beautiful product. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's solely for Samuel Sons, right? Is it? Yes, we are the uh, main importer for the product, exclusive distributor. Uh, we do ship all over the U.S. Mm -hmm. So if you are interested in the product, it is a available to whoever uh, Great. would like Even to try it. Even if I don't pay, you don't have to take it. And send it to me. That too. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, Tony. Why don't we get started? All right, you put me to work. All right, I'm get to work. work. All right, dear. So. So what's the first dish we're going to make? Uh, carpaccio. Carpaccio. This is an amazing product. It's already pre-soaked, right? Yes, it is. It's ready to use. So, so it's pre-soaked? Yes, it is. That's which is great. Saving. It comes right out of the box and ready to thaw and put on the plate. Now, this chefs... is it right here. Yes, it is. So you don't have to go through the soaking process, which is amazing. Or the slicing process. So this is a Spanish bacala or yes, cod, if people don't know what bacala is. It's a wild cod. product. Um, right now, this is probably one of the biggest things on chef's menus mm -hmm. because of the uh, versatility for it. You right. can use it for ceviche, also wow. carpaccio, right out of the box. So really? there's no type of uh, labor involved. Excellent, good to know. So Tony, what do you have going here? No, I'm just gonna do it like a... It's um, a real thin carpaccio. Yeah, and I'm basically just putting it on the plate. This is how simple this dish is. You know, it's always nice when you have experts doing what they do expertly, you know? I mean, growing up, this was uh, on our table pretty much every night. Really? Uh, Spanish call it bacalao, Italians call it bacalao. Mm -hmm. so, um, what do the Irish call it? <laughs> call that it I'm not sure of yet. <laughs> What's that fish next to the bear? <laughs> All right, so this is something that I could pick up at Ibolitos if I wanted to. Yes, use you can. That is home. our flagship retail store. We're located in South Philadelphia, Great. 1300 Dickinson Street. And uh, yeah, this is uh, available. 24-7 at and that the location. that looks so easy. I could just take yes, that right is. out of the package and do it myself. No work involved at all. No, not at all. And uh, you distribute to several restaurants in the area. And yes, we do. We're East actually Coast. delivering in seven states. We are the largest uh, seafood distributor in the Mid-Atlantic. And besides the bacala, what other fishes do you carry? What kinds? Well, we import all over the world. Um, we get a lot of stuff out of Japan, also nice. from Europe. So pretty much anything that chefs ask for, we, we get it in. Great, and it comes in fresh, mostly? Yes, fresh, mm -hmm. and we do have a full line of frozen product as well. Excellent. What's one of the most popular fish that you sell? Salmon is definitely one Salmon's of the biggest really ones. Because it's very popular on everybody's menu, the wild price point and whatnot. But pretty much everything. Great. If it's available, we get it, and uh, the chefs have it. Well, you're going to come back and, and taste with us, right, for the tasting? Yes, I will. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us, and Thank we'll see you, you there. All right, what did I miss, Tone? Well, it's that simple. I just took it out of the packet, uh -huh. olive oil, pepper, and, and a little parsley. You no don't salt. need salt because it's already right. been salted. It's, it's perfectly salted. And wow. That's, that's what I like about this dish, it's just seasoned right. You definitely don't need to be a chef to do that. You don't, but it's good to have a chef, otherwise I'm out of a job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, good. So, All right, what next? So now we're going to do a, a stuffed bacala. Mm, okay. Uh, with the carpaccio again. What are we going to stuff that with? Um, Dom, what are we stuffing this with today? This is Dom, is my sous chef. Oh, hey Dom, come on up here. Viviano. How are you doing, guys? How are you? Are you? Time? No, I don't, unfortunately. <laughs> no, we're so. That makes three of us then. We're stuffing this with some uh, broccoli rabe and capers. Mm. Awesome. Love broccoli rabe. And you have what else in here? Uh, just a little breadcrumb, a little bit of garlic, awesome. and some olive oil. Fantastic. Is so, any kind of egg to bind that together, or just the breadcrumbs? No, just the bread. You know, it's just real simple. Okay. And so. Um, we're just going to take this off here. And I love this product because wow, it's look that how easy. Thin that is. And watch this. Watch this method. All right. So it's almost like a piece of prosciutto, you know? Absolutely, but fishier. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we're just going to go like this. Okay. Okay. And Samuels and Son really does a lot of the work for you. Um, it's half the job. Exactly. Otherwise, I'd be out of a job. <laughs> I can I can cook Italian because it's Sammy. Exactly. But Sammy can't drink like an Irishman. He just can't do it. I don't know. Those Italians might surprise you. I know. They do. As long as it's wine. I don't know. 
Wine and limoncello as yeah. opposed to whiskey and beer. I know. All right, see how nice that was? Wow, look at that. Okay, so we really just comes right off the sheet awesome. of plastic. Right. Okay. So is this going to be one long piece here, or yes, we have three separate? Yes, I'm going to put it right in the okay. uh, griddle. You can do that right here on the flat top. Yes. Nice. Okay. So again, we don't we be careful about the salt. Stay tuned for more when we return to the chef's kitchen. We are back with Tony Clark, the chef de cuisine at Valley Forge Casino Resort. We took an anchovy aioli. All right, anchovy aioli. So we've got a little parsley in there. All right. So we've got a lot of anchovy in there, yeah, too. A little garlic. How's it taste? Thanks, bro. Can I have a metal spatula? Thank you, bro. You can take that to the pastry chef. Tastes good. Okay. It's really good. There, you guys, another day. I didn't get a bite of that anchovy, but it's almost got a little Caesar salad kind of thing going on. Dom, you can stay on your job. Thank you. Sir. You don't get fired. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good let's, job. Let's put the aioli down here, and we're going to put the rabat right on top. Okay. You're going to flip that, or it's yes. just going to sear on the one side? We're going to flip it over. It looks like it might be tricky to flip. So this is where the real chef skills it, come into play. Well, it depends. I could be an imposter. <laughs> so just loosen it up. So you want to use a real sharp spatula or knife yeah. like that? Now the Italians now are laughing at the Irish guy. <laughs> Let's go. It's all right. They won't be laughing when they eat it. When they taste it, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Look at that. So it's nice. still warm. It's mm -hmm. still nice. Okay. Just warm through. And a little more uh, olive oil. Of course. Some black pepper. You got some right there. That would be awesome. Yeah. Go to town, girlfriend. That's it. Put some in there. Take that. Thank you, love. Sure thing. And then, um, Look at that. Is that it? It's that all should strong? be good. Well, we'll see. Oh, okay. We still have to taste it. You never know. Okay, fantastic. Well, it looks beautiful. That's and it looks good. Irish, too, all that green. It on is there. Irish, yes. <laughs> it's the Irish bacala. There you go, Lauren. It's the Irish bacala. Okay, now, the next dish. All right, what's up next? Let me go down. Okay, this is. Um, These uh, bacala dishes on the menu at Viviano? Yes. Yeah? We use everything Sammy has in his, his shop. That's a everything, lot of seafood. Everything, everything. That's a lot. How does well, that we, all fit on your menu? We, we, we have a big restaurant. This is a, a nice dish that we're going to use. This is, a, this is a bacala that's cut. Okay. Nice thick piece. And this is the salt cod that you've soaked, or yes. this is fresh cod? So pepper. Pepper. Both sides, skin side, right? And again, no salt needed. No salt ever. Okay. So. That's why I love the bacala, though, because the salt just doesn't sit on the surface. It's all the way in the fish. Yeah, I know. It's, and it's amazing. I, I remember uh, culinary school when he first talked about bacala, and I'm like, what? oh, man, I'll never learn that fish. You know, and, and then what the heck is that? Look at that thing. I know. It looks scary. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, they told me it was cod. He said, why can't they call it cod? But no. <laughs> it's ethnic. Yeah, I know. Reminds me of Christmas Eve. Big really? Christmas Eve ba bacala. Okay, so what we have here is a bacon crust. I can and what smell I took that bacon. bacon. Okay, and some breadcrumbs and a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. And I uh, cooked the bacon ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, pureed it in a cuisine art, and then mm -hmm. I mixed the bread in there. So. These fresh breadcrumbs? Uh, panko. Okay. okay. Just as good, in my opinion. It, uh, it's different. So you don't want the pan quite that hot? Uh, I like this pan. So that's good. Okay, we're just going to create some crust there for a okay. little bit, and then we're going to put it in the oven. All right, let that brown up on top. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And what kind of sauce is going to go with that? Dom? I got a garlic olive tomato sauce. Garlic olive, olive tomato Come down here, sauce. Dom. Yum. We're going to put it right here. What kind of olives do you use? Uh, pure black olives. Okay. Is that like an oil cured? Yep. Oh, all right. Really rich flavor in those. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. A little more butter, never hurt. Butter, butter, always butter. See how it jumped over? It's just because it loves you. Mm -hmm. Okay. This oven's ready? This oven's ready. Okay, you want to put that in there? It's a huge kitchen, Tony. Yes, it is. We're, we uh, have two dining rooms. Mm -hmm. Viviano goes this way. Okay. So, and then Pacific Prime there. So everybody that goes to that door oh, speaks Italian. Right. <laughs> and then, what? You don't believe me? <laughs> and everybody out there speaks steak? Yes. All right, what's our next dish, Dom? Uh, we have tempura bakala. Tempura, tempura bakala, bakala. yum. Good. Okay, so this is the uh, the other 
alternative of the bakala. These are like little nuggets. Yes. So we're gonna have like you know they have that new thing now McDonald's you know you know that what the bakala nugget no the it's, it's McBakala like yeah it's a fish nugget <laughs> now you leave the skin on this yeah I like that skin I love the skin now here's you go now this is a big pot Don so what we're so gonna you got do oil is, in here yes okay Don's our Italian chef that speaks no Italian not at all you know why you know why that's perfect because I don't speak Italian but at least he is Italian the only reason I got the Italian restaurant because my name was Tony. Watch that I was oil. here a month and they said, what, you're not Italian? I said, no, nah. Irish Polish. And Newfoundland. And, New and, New and Newfoundland. <laughs> okay, so here's the tempura mix. Dom, tell me about the tempura mix. Uh, it's a beer batter tempura mix, a little bit of Guinness. Guinness. Salt, pe salt pepper, and um, uh, club soda. She's gonna dust these nuggets with right. some flour. Okay. You look at it, see how it just drips off your finger mm -hmm. like that? And you can see your finger, that's good. Okay. You want to see your product through the tempura. Mm -hmm. you, don't want, you don't want the tempura to be coated. So good tempura, like if you're doing lobster tempura, right. you can see the whole lobster, it just coats it. Okay, so we're just testing this one out. That's not good because it's sticking. Sorry. Does that mean the oil's not hot enough or right. that it's too hot? It's not hot enough. Okay. That's okay. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen. We are back with Chef Tony Clark of Viviano. That's you always got to do a tester piece and yeah, the chef gets some. That's right, I, I do all the testing pieces. <laughs> These guys are going to be as fat as me when they're mine. Do you know that? Can you think, Don? Might be. You got I a ways think. to go. If you want to be good. Oh, I do a lot if of eating. I good. do a lot of eating, trust me, but I do a lot of moving. Oh, what do you say? I don't move? I never said that. <laughs> I think I move. You say spoon, I'll pass you the spoon. Oh, really? Like yeah. a doctor? Like a doctor. Like a nurse? Dr. Tony. Oh. All right, Tom, how's that fish in the oven? Oh, look at that. That's perfect. All that right. crust got nice and brown on top. Right, let's see that sauce you have, Dom. You want to plate that up here? Check what the sauce on the bottom? Yes. How's that taste, Tom? Excellent. Excellent. I love that. I want to taste that sauce. I know. Mm. How's it looking? It looks like an amazing job here. See how it's getting crispy and yep. you can see the skin? I like that. How about the fish? Let's put the fish on the plate. This here? Yeah, no, we found going to do it right you now. You to do it? So. The sauce is tasty. It's a little bit of olive kind of. Permeates all through that tomato. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. You know, if I did this in an Italian home and I didn't tell my last name, they think it was the greatest thing in the world. The tempura is far from right. Italian. But I, yeah, but if I don't, if I do it in my house, I say I'm Irish Polish, so there's something wrong with it. <sighs> The Irish, they have some good food going on. What's that? A little Guinness Irish stew or um, Keep shepherd's them. pie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, they got, they got some. Irish soda bread. The old Irish oh, potato. You're, you're which knocking is out all the big ones, aren't you? <laughs> got it. That looks great. That's good. Real okay, nice sear on the bottom there. Right here. Put a little uh, varnish on there. What do you want? A little parsley? Yeah, a little fleck. It'll be all right. You have a little spatula, Dom? Uh, fish spatula, right there. My man. There you go. I love fish spatulas. Fish is so delicate, it really handles right. it nicely. See how it's looking? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I look like I know what I'm doing. Nice and crisp. It smells like Christmas Eve with that fried bakala. It, doesn't? it does. That's what it reminds me of. I had uh, seven fish one time in Pittsburgh. Once? Yeah. Only one time? I was only invited once. <laughs> Why didn't they ask you back? 
I am Irish. Because you're Irish. Yes. Not because I'm Irish, because of my Irish, you know. I know how to have a good time. <laughs> well, I think. Okay. So. And this is this going to get a little dipping sauce? Yes. What do we have, Dom? Uh, that is getting the caper aioli. Okay, Caper good. aioli. You like your aiolis, Tom. Yeah, you know. My father used to call me that all the time. Aioli? Aioli? Yeah, but more in English style. <laughs> All right, looks good. Well, let's see how Time we to go. plate it up. All right, Tom. Let's go with the uh, keep your oil right there. So, right here. right here you go. Oh, good. Yeah, that's the anchovy. Oh, yeah. How about this? Nice little swoosh. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. more olive oil. That's it. A little craziness. I love the pop of that almost neon green like my apron here. I know. It's, are you wearing that because that I'm Irish? <laughs> Everything's got to do with being Irish. Yeah, We're in an Italian Irish. restaurant. I guess you're not. I know, but I mean, that's, you know, that's part of being Irish. Number one name in Ireland, Tony. <laughs> it is. Nice. Real simple. Cape Raioli is almost like a take on a tartar sauce. Yes. But I can charge more when I call Caper. Absolutely. Uh, instead, you know, that's Absolutely. How, that's how I got my uh, job secured. Looks great. All right, there it is. Is that it? Ta da! You ready to taste? Yes. All right, let's bring it into the restaurant. Right, I'm starving. Fun. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen at the luxurious Valley Forge Casino Resort. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen. All right, we've got some beautiful dishes here made with bacala. We've got this, this stuff with the broccoli rob and the tempura, carpaccio with the bacon crust. This all looks fabulous. Looks like we've got some beautiful white wine to drink as well. So Len Boris, tell us about the wine. The wine today, we have a uh, Frilano from uh, Bastianich. It's called Adriatico. Okay. Uh, it'll resemble Sauvignon Blanc um, for most people that have had it before. It'll be really nice with seafood, has a uh, light acidity, still mm -hmm. pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Smells great. Cheers. Salute. Chef Don. Thanks for being on the Chef's Kitchen today. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. All that other mm. stuff. This is wonderful. And Chelsea, why don't you tell us a little mm, more about the casino good. here at Valley Forge? Our casino, it's the area's premier full amenity resort. Mm. Uh, we have 600 slot machines. We have 50 wow. table games. There's a lot to do here. It's high energy. It's a fun environment. Uh, we have the center bar where you can go. You can have some drinks. You can sample the wine. You can dance. Uh, it's a great time. Wonderful. I can't wait to come back and play a little roulette and have a couple cocktails. But now let's dig into this food. Yeah, I don't fork? gamble. You know that. I don't no? gamble. No. Not everything I drink. in moderation. But I like casinos because I drink. <laughs> mm. well, this looks great. It's good. As usual, Chef Tony uh, well, seems to amaze the wine me. Program here. I love the amaze you. <laughs> this is nice. I like this how this is done. Mm -hmm. The wine program here is really extensive. We actually have uh, over 40 wines by the glass in each restaurant. Wow. Um, over 350 uh, bottles. Wow. In pour. That's quite a bit. Absolutely. Well, thank you Does guys Ireland for make any wine? Not really. Not really. Ireland makes no, beer. Don't. Really. Yeah, they sell the beer. Right. <laughs> and Lauren, the bacala is wonderful. Well, uh, this product is available all year round, and it's not just uh, good for holidays, but like I said, um, it could be on the menu. It's really no, I delicious. I really enjoy it. I like mm -hmm. the, uh, the way it came, the slice and the cube. And, and it's the easy to prepare, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it it, it's great. I can't wait to go down to Ippolito's. It's a style. Do you cook uh, bacala? Often. I mean, your brother. It's, it's, your it's, it's a staple yeah. on our menu. Is it? Mm -hmm. Every yes, day, it is. right? Yes, it is. It's one of those things. It's like meat and potatoes. <laughs> uh, meat and potatoes. You had to throw potatoes my way, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks again Shared for being down. here today. Awesome. had a great nice. time. Yes. Samuels and Son, Valley Forge Casino Resort. What a marriage. <laughs>
Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. Valley Forge Casino Resort has everything to offer with 600 of the latest slots and 50 table games. Whether you're craving an upscale dining experience created by celebrity chef Tony Clark or having cocktails in the center of the action, you can have it all. Stay in one of our finely appointed guest rooms or suites for a great getaway, just minutes away from the King of Prussia Mall. Enjoy the area's only full amenity gaming resort where everyone's a VIP. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Since 1929, Ippolito's has been Philadelphia's premier gourmet seafood market. Stop in today for the finest selection of fresh fish and seafood from the store that supplies the top chefs. Or choose from our menu of over 100 prepared items from our famous all shrimp salad, jumbo lump crab cakes and seafood lasagna, to lobster pot pie, surf and turf tacos, and our exclusive ahi tuna cheesesteak. Our food is prepared fresh each day with all natural ingredients. And we have free delivery. Ippolito's. Shop where the chefs shop. For the viewer who is passionate about food and wine, The Chef's Kitchen provides tips and techniques from the country's most exclusive restaurants. Tune in next time to see one of the nation's top chefs such as George Perrier, Roberto Donna, Jose Garces, Michael Schlau, or Tony Clark as they share their culinary talents and unique creativity. Learn how to make the delectable dishes and hip creations they're serving in today's restaurants or impress your family with a culinary twist on tonight's dinner. Check our website for listings in your area or today's recipe. The Chef's Kitchen's been uh, with me for 10 years now, and I'm really enjoying it. Every show is fantastic. We have lots of fun. And now the Chef's Kitchen here is at Valley Forge Casino, and what a, what a perfect match. I mean, I really enjoy it. And I can't thank you, Steve. You've been fantastic to me, and I can't wait till my Valley Forge friends get to know you the way I do.